Hello and welcome to Patient Power, sponsored by the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. I'm Andrew Shore. There is a lot of excitement about therapy for blood cancers, in particular using chimeric antigen receptors, also known as CARs, and there's the hope that this approach can also benefit patients with solid tumors. Helping lead the research is Dr. David Maloney, who's at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Dr. Maloney joins us now. Dr. Maloney, why all the excitement about CARs? Well, you know, I think, uh, Andrew, if, we, if you think about how the immune system works, uh, the immune system is extremely powerful in fighting off viral infections. And, and if we could train the immune system to attack cancer in the same way that it's, for example, t attacking a virus, then we could have a very potent uh, new therapy. And that's what the excitement is about uh, CAR T cells. Uh, in, in this, in, in this uh, system, basically, we use an antibody, a monoclonal antibody, which has specificity for a target, and we modify the T cell to then express that receptor so that the T cell can then attack the, the cancer cell uh, that we're uh, trying to treat. Dr. Maloney, using CAR therapy, I know you had some very promising results in the treatment of someone with lymphoma. Tell us about that result. Well, we've, we've just started a clinical trial of over about the past seven months uh, here in Seattle, uh, utilizing uh, CAR T cells for a variety of uh, B cell malignancies. And the types of malignancies that we're treating are, uh, are B cell tumors that have a target called CD19. And CD19 is on most types of non-Hodgkin lymphoma that are B cell type, and it's also on CLL and acute lymphocytic leukemia that's a B cell type. And so the first step of this is to determine, to try to figure out what the correct cell dose is and to figure out what the to potential toxicities are. So we're currently doing a phase one study where we're uh, increasing the dose of T cells in patients with these malignancies. So if I've got this right, you're taking the patient's own cells using them outside the body and making a personalized drug and then giving it back to them. Do I have it right? That's exactly the idea. It's a, it's a, I mean, if you look at it, it's a customized therapy. And so what, how we actually do it is we, we see the patients and uh, do a screening test to make sure that they have some T cells in their blood. And then we collect T cells by a process called leukophoresis where patients go on a, a machine that takes blood out of essentially one arm and runs it through a machine and puts the blood back in the other arm and takes off the fraction of cells that contain the T cells. Then in the laboratory, we isolate those T cells <clears throat> and put, put in this receptor and then grow them and, and then give them back to the patient about four or five weeks later. So you're boosting the power of a patient's own immune system to fight the cancer that it missed the first time? Yeah, it's not even boosting. It's it's making their immune system capable of recognizing the tumor cells, and then and then uh, and then having that attack the tumor. So unlike you know antibody therapy where you or chemotherapy where you give the treatment and then it it just washes out or is degraded in the body, uh, T cells are a, are a living thing, and so when they grow in the patient, they can actually recognize the tumor cells. That causes the T cells to proliferate causes them to, uh, you know, kill the tumor. And then if, if we're fortunate, they, they expand and go and continue to go after the, after the tumor cells. So they can, you know, one treatment theoretically could lead to long uh, lasting anti-tumor activity. I know there are patients with solid tumors who are following all this news about CARs, wondering, can it work for them? At your institution, what's the intention to see if this research that's been promising in blood cancers can be broadened. Well, that's the uh, that's indeed the uh, the holy grail. We're 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 using CD19 in this study, and that's our that's our, our really first attempt to determine um, how uh, how widely applicable we can make this therapy. I mean, there's a lot of uh, challenges to overcome. We have to be able to get the T cells. We have to ma make them. They have to be able to grow. And then they have to function, and they have to function without, you know, causing too much toxicity. <clears throat> but the limitation of the treatment is really directed by the the target that it, that the T cells go against. And so ultimately, if you could find an antibody against other antigens on other tumor cells, 
then theoretically, a T cell could be targeted to, to that same antigen. And as you know, antibodies have become commonplace in the treatment of many malignancies, including uh, solid cancers, lung cancer, uh, breast cancer, et cetera. So it, it's not out of the realm of uh, possibility that CAR T cells will be able to be um, uh, directed against those targets. And we're working on that very actively now. I uh, don't have any trials up and running yet, but that's soon to follow. Dr. Maloney, I know you've been involved on the very ground floor of development of exciting monoclonal antibodies, rituximab, for example. Do you see CAR therapy as perhaps part of the next wave of cancer therapy? I, I'm actually certain that it will be one of the next uh, advances because it's really marrying the specificity of, of, of an antibody with the power of a T cell. So T cells um, are very, very active killers and can, and can be very potent and when, they, when they're revved up against uh, whatever their, their target is. Antibodies are very specific but unfortunately have a relatively limited ability to kill cells. And so as you know, antibodies such as rituximab um, can, are clearly a, an advance, but, but they have to be repetitively given and they have relatively limited ability to kill cells. But if you couple an antibody essentially onto now a T cell to make the T cell uh, reactive uh, to the same antigen, then you have a, a replicating and very powerful anti-tumor effect. So I, I'm very uh, enthusiastic about this. It's, it's very exciting. We need to learn how to use it. Uh, we need to learn you know, what the toxicities are and, and, uh, and, and, and how to use it. Well, you were on the ground floor of monoclonal antibody therapy and that's worked out. And now you're on the ground floor of CAR therapy. We wish you great success with your research, Dr. Maloney, and thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much, Andrew. I'm Andrew Shore. We connect you with experts like Dr. David Maloney, so you hear the latest. Thanks for joining us. Remember, knowledge can be the best medicine of all.